Good morning, Taurus, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to Will's Cartomancy Tarot. What I like to do is going to give you your teacup reading, monthly teacup reading, just to see what's kind of going on with you romantically and the energies that are associated uh, with that uh, issue in your life, as well as reveal other matters here that appear to be kind of cropping up in your reading here as we see here. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, if this reading resonates as we go through it, go on and give it a big thumbs up and be sure to share it with others, okay? And be sure to send me a comment on these, ladies and gentlemen, because I certainly like to, to hear your thoughts on these, okay? So the focus here will be romantically, but of course, if other issues pop up, I'm going to certainly reveal those to you, okay? Let's go on and get started here, because it seems that you guys are really kind of going through a very frustrated period this month here because we have the funnel um, symbol there and that shows that this is certainly is going to be a period of frustration for you particularly romantically I'm kind of getting here and it looks like that many of you are kind of going through a karmic type period where there are important lessons to be learned here okay I'm seeing that you're very fearful and I'm seeing a lot of worries and a lot of tense situations as it relates to your romantic um, situation here and you're just feeling a bit dissatisfied with life in general here with this cracked cup you know so what's wrong here it seems that you guys have been really mourning a lot that I'm kind of getting here okay and I'm also getting as well as for this month you know along with this being a period of frustration for you there are problems that you guys are in fact going to have to resolve this month with that ink pot as well as obstacles to overcome here with the heel, you know. And this finger um, symbol here is kind of warning you to problems that exist now or will in fact exist in the future. And these problems are going to culminate so much so that it's going to cause what? A chain of events to occur that certainly in fact is going to, you know, kind of um, affect your life in some way here. But I'm feeling that in just getting to your more romantic type of situation here, I'm getting a sense that someone that you're dealing with who, with this feather energy here appears to be very insincere and, and undependable. And I'm feeling that, ladies and gentlemen, it may be a time or time for you to kind of get out of a situation here. And I feel that this is a situation perhaps newly created by you, you know. And I feel that it's a situation where a lot of secrets perhaps might come out that's going to inevitably affect you here with this skull energy here. And just taking a step back here, getting to the person that might be insincere, you have one representation of a, uh, of a human here. So it could be an older man that, you're, for, that some of you may be dealing with, particularly the women here. Okay? I'm just feeling here that as it relates to that situation with this pail being turned over, it might be, in fact, time for many of you to kind of jet and get out of this situation here because it's not producing the results that you want, you know? Because it certainly seems that it looks like one door is kind of closing and perhaps another one is opening here because it looks like with this chair empty here, someone is, in fact, leaving your life and it could, in fact, be an older man for some of you here okay and i'm feeling that it looks like you guys are kind of also suffering and worrying about someone from whom you've been estranged here because you have this spear symbol here and you're kind of heartaching i'm feeling over what you no longer have here and adding to that there might be a possibility here with this wreath energy here that you may have recently lost someone or you're just still suffering over a loss in some way here, you know, or you recently lost someone or you might soon lose someone here with this reef energy and rest assured that this reef energy here is unarrested. Okay. Usually a loss does tend to occur here, but despite the challenges that I'm kind of seeing that you get are kind of going through here, ladies and gentlemen, with the cobweb here. It certainly shows that you are, in fact, protected from negative forces over which you have no control here. 
And it may be a very authoritative type person that some of you may be dealing with, in fact, here. And this dog energy symbol is kind of telling you that you are pro protected from a powerful entity or a powerful friend in some way here. Okay? And getting back to saying that, you know, mentioning that I mentioned that one door is kind of closing and another one is opening here. It looks like that someone from whom you've been estranged, you're going to be reconciling with that person soon here because you have that pineapple symbol. And it could, in fact, be for some of you with this older man there. Okay? I'm also feeling, too, that you're going to meet a stranger, I'm feeling. And that stranger here with this handshake is going to be very important and instrumental in your life in the future I'm kind of getting here. You know? I'm also feeling, too, that, you know... Again, despite all of the challenges that I see that you're kind of going through here with this broom energy here, you're going to be sweeping away past things or getting rid of the debris that really has been, been working for you. And I see that I see a, a very positive change in attitude. And for those of you who have been seeking a new home, perhaps potentially there may be movements in that area as well. OK. And with this person that seems to be kind of coming back into your life or that you're reconciling with. You know, we have the ring um, symbol there, so that shows that it either represents a stronger commitment or it could even, in fact, represent some type of a business partnership that you might get in or some of you might, in fact, get in, you know, with that, okay? So those are the message of those T cards here. So I have a few other Oracle cards that I want to give you a bit more part and advice into your situation here. We already understand that, you know, you've been going through a traumatic period in the romance, again, one door is closing, another one's open, and give you a chance to reconcile. There may be a possibility that you might want to let your friends kind of help you. You know, ask for and accept support from others, you know, ladies and gentlemen. Okay? And in doing so, try to free yourself, you know. It's time to kind of, you know, come back to you. Take control of your life, okay? You've allowed this relationship just to kind of just take over your life, you know, and you just, you've been putting others before yourself. Now it's time to kind of, you know, get back to and focus on you here. Okay. And try to allow ladies and gentlemen, your heart and your soul to kind of sing with joy as passion envelops your heart here. Okay. And understand that it looks like that the person perhaps returning to you could even potentially be the one. Sometimes it takes us to go through things to realize what we had here. And we understand that the grass just wasn't greener on the other side here. So this is someone that perhaps you may have already had, you had some dealings with, or it could be someone around you guys that you're not noticing here that, you know, there is someone that's around you um, that wants to kind of offer you the love that you, your heart so deserves here. And you might want to try to stop being so stilted in your relationships and how you, you're kind of dealing with things and being so serious, Taurus. You might want to just develop a little playfulness, you know. And this would allow you, Taurus, to kind of recapture the romance and the inner youthful spirit of fun, you know. That would allow it to kind of shine here, okay. And if you're wondering whether you should, in fact, give a relationship another chance, this card is assuring you that you want to, you should consider doing so. Give your relationship a, a chance and work on your partnership. And the way to do it, ladies and gentlemen, is that you, what? Keep an open mind, okay? Because your soulmate might, in fact, differ um, from you in terms of culturally wise. You know, you may be two, from two different backgrounds, but... You can find a way to meet each other in the middle, okay? And understand that, you know, these romantic feelings that you have, they are, in fact, worth exploring here, you know? Because I feel to, and, and as the tea reading has already indicated, is that your romantic situation seems to be elevating, ladies and gentlemen, or ascending to a higher level of commitment. So allow it to be to happen here. And while you may feel that you're unlovable or that you'll never be able to gain the love that you would want here, the romance angels are assuring you that it is, in fact, safe for you to love, you know. 
But you might want to consider opening your heart, ladies and gentlemen, to the highest level that, you know, that love can really offer you here. Okay? Um, I also am going to be pulling a few additional other cards for you guys. And, you know, you, you may want to ask yourself, you know, what, in fact, do you really need to release in your situation, ladies and gentlemen? You know, it's really, you got to ask yourself, is, is, you know, is it really safe for you to kind of go and move on here? You know, maybe you want to say you're sorry, you know, perhaps with this person that you're reconciling with or someone that perhaps if you've hurt them. You know, and, you know, it's time to kind of just, you know, kind of get rid of all of this emotional garbage that you've kind of been harboring for extremely too long, ladies and gentlemen, because it's, it's not really, it's not benefiting you on any level here. It's only just bringing and causing more havoc to kind of, you know, really come into your situation here. And of course, we wouldn't want that to be allowed um, here, you know. Just looking at the things that are, or looking at the cards here that are, that are uh, kind of displayed here, okay? And then you might want to try to, ladies and gentlemen, bring love into your situation here, you know? Explore all the possibilities, ladies and gentlemen, you know? Again, try to think differently. Try to, you know, really think outside the block box. And I think that by being playful, ladies and gentlemen, this certainly will allow you to kind of, you know be a little bit more spontaneous and how you're dealing with a situation and try to do things a bit differently from, you know, from how you've normally been accustomed to doing here. Okay. And you can certainly accomplish this because your dreams need a practical plan. You know, try not to be lazy and try not to be jealous, you know, or bring any jealousy or envy to this situation here, you know? And just take your time to achieve what you're really kind of asking for, you know? Because I feel that this problem that you're going through is, is, is reaching its natural resolution here, I'm kind of feeling. And you need to try to practice having a bit more patience, okay? I always understand that love is certainly patient and it's definitely kind here. And what would might be helpful you for you guys is that you kind of rest and relax a bit, you know, because we all need to break from situations. OK, and especially when a situation when you're just trying to heal, you know, and really consider your foundations, ladies and gentlemen, look how committed you are to love, you know, and speak the language of love, you know, you know, always try to express loving words. Um, to your partner here, okay? Now, I wanted to just take a step back here and just give you a bit of a mediumship type reading because it looks like that a lot of you are, in fact, suffering um, from some form of grief here. So I wanted to just go on and just share um, a few sentiments, you know, regarding that area here because I feel that you know, a relative is asking me to tell you they want you to know that they are certainly sorry in some way. And they're asking that you forgive them in a sense because it looks like that perhaps they went a bit too fast or they went quickly. I'm kind of getting here just looking at, you know, kind of looking at your cards here. And they, they're just kind of, they're begging here for forgiveness, you know. And they want you to know that they are doing just fine that I'm kind of getting, you know. And they're saying that when they were alive, they realized that the actions that they, the things that they did in life kind of affected you in some way, you know. And perhaps you might be hanging on to guilt or, you know, uh, or just resentment in some way about the situation that I'm kind of getting. And they want you to know that they're just sorry for it. They want you to know that it's okay. And they want you to know that now that they're in heaven, they see earth as a school, you know, as a lesson, you know. And they can also see all of your thoughts. And they can hear you. And they want you to know that 
if you need to ask them anything, they're just a thought away and they have no more, you know, worries or no more, you know, earthly concern, you know, they are feeling healthy that I'm kind of getting here. And they're saying that they are, in fact, with the rest of the family, you know, and they're learning a lot being here and they're seeing things from a different vantage point from what they could see when they were here. Okay. They're also saying that they've become one of your gods in some way or one of your, you know, spiritual teachers. And they're right there with you, you know, and all you just have to do is think about them and they're, they will appear. Okay. So in conclusion, ladies and gentlemen, I just want to let you know that, you know, your soulmate certainly is already with you in spirit and believe this and they will certainly manifest themselves physically, you know. And understand that not only do you have someone from your past returning, you also have a secret admirer, okay? So someone has deeper feelings for you than what they really are, in fact, letting on. So keep that in mind if you've just met somebody and imagine yourself, you know, surrounded by, you know, the loving light and feel your relationship headed, you know, for a positive, you know, turn of events. Try to kind of close your eyes and feel your spiritual connecting connection to everything on this planet. You know, really, every person and animal. And feel the ocean. All in perfect harmony and moved by the one eternal flow of love, ladies and gentlemen. And certainly do not fear the current changes because you have to understand that all is happening is in fact in accordance with your divine plan. And the current events, ladies and gentlemen, are really paving the way to a, a brighter, successful future. So remain positive and certainly in the light. So, Taurus, this is what I have for you. I certainly hope that this reading has offered food for thought. Be sure to like and share, subscribe, send me over a comment. And if you'd like a personal reading, please contact me at WOT1673 at gmail.com, which will all be left in the description box. Enjoy your day.